Hi everyone, welcome to Angela's Kitchen and Everything Home. Today I want to give you a tour of my food pantry. Um, I figured I'd give you a tour of that just because, you know, I've been doing a lot of hauls. So I can show you what it looks like right now. I still need to add more things to it, but I'm not done yet. But still, I'll get this slowly but surely. Um, so hopefully everyone's prepping. And if you're interested in this video, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe and keep on watching. Okay, to start off, I just wanted to show you that I am stocking up on toilet paper. This is not my food pantry. Um, I'm in my mud room, but you know, I'm trying to do the best that I can because it was really ridiculous. We couldn't even find toilet paper at one point. So in case that happens again, I just want to make sure I have enough for my family to use. Okay, so this is my deep freezer. And it's not full yet, but I'm trying to get, you know, some bagels in there, um, meat, uh, some more bread, frozen vegetables, um, you know, just because I prefer frozen vegetables over canned, but I'm still buying some canned goods, but, you know, definitely, it's, it's definitely more healthier. Um, if you can't get fresh vegetables and fruit, just buy them frozen. Here. I'm going to go over everything I have in my pantry. Okay, so this is my pantry. You know, I'm trying to stock up as much as I can before, you know, the winter time. And who knows, you know, what could happen and if we're in another quarantine or not. Just trying to get prepared, um, as everyone should. So this is what it looks like, and I'm just going to go over everything with you. So my family cooks a lot with this Goya tomato sauce. We love it. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had, you know, a few of those. I'm going to definitely need more, but um, for now, that's good. Um, back here, it's very hard to get to, but I have some aluminum foil. Um, paper towels, a lot of paper towels, just because, you know, again, these are things, toilet paper, these are things that, you know, they ran out of at one point, so I want to make sure I have some. I have definitely, I have more upstairs too, but. So over here, we have a bunch of beans. I definitely need beans in my house. I need a lot of beans in my house. So I have a lot of lentils, as you can see, and then I also have more goya beans, um, kidney beans and more carnation evaporated milk um we do cook with this and bake with it so i want to make sure i need to pick up some more seasonings but you know i do have some here um so you know i just want to make sure i have stuff to flavor my food again what if we again have to go into quarantine i also got some stuff for our sweet tooth um you know once in a while we're craving something sweet so i wanted to make sure you know i got some stuff here also for that i have my blueberry mix there and yeah to me um you know i want to pick up some just because again if they're low in meat at the store you know i need to have some of this so i have some back here it's actually quite a few back there but um i have tuna cans and um chicken so yeah that's something you definitely want to stock up on um again in case there is more of a meat shortage and we can't get to the store another thing that you definitely want to try to stock up on is just uh canned vegetables and fruit um you know uh apparently there's some shortage of canned goods so you want to get them while you can um, and these also, you know, last a long time, so it's good to have in your pantry. Um, if you can't get fresh fruit, at least you have some canned fruit. So it's definitely something you want to stock up on. And peanut butter is also something that I think everyone's going to want. So, you know, it does last a long time, long shelf life, goes a long way, especially when you have kids. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, can't beat that. Um, so definitely pick up some jars of peanut butter. Also, tomato sauce. Um, tomato sauce was an, another item that, you know, was hard to come by. Again, more seasoning. Um, my family cooks a lot with sasson goya, so I definitely wanted to pick up a jumbo pack. I'm probably trying to get, 
trying to get more after but you know definitely pick up you know your favorite seasonings my family cooks a lot with garlic so i definitely wanted to get this some dijon mustard we have carnation evaporated milk i have more of these over there different teas i mean just because again the sum the i'm sorry not the summer the winter's coming so i wanted to make sure i had enough tea um you know because it's it's good for you during the winter months um, I also, you know, have some Italian dressing, and then I got some soda. We don't drink a lot of soda in my house, but, you know, I just wanted to have some because I do treat myself once in a while, so I wanted to make sure I had some ginger ale because that's my favorite. Definitely need pasta, um, so pick up, you know, pasta while you can. Also have more of the Linton teas. Um, I don't know if you saw my uh, previous videos, but you know, this is something good to have because you know, all you do is add water and you have delicious tea. Uh, some more water. I'm trying to stock up on more water because they're saying that we should do that. Even though I have filter water in my house, you never know. We could have a hurricane or a storm or whatever. And you know, I just want to make sure I have water. Also, Quaker oatmeal. Um, we love oatmeal in my house. It has a long shelf life, so I just want to make sure I pick some more up. And also hot chocolate. Now that the winter months is coming up, I want to make sure I have that. More of the seasonings. Again, my family cooks a lot with adobo, so I want to make sure I had some. More garlic. We can't live without garlic. Tomato sauces, which was also hard to come by, so definitely pick them up while you can. I also have my almond milks there. Um, honey sugar and flour definitely want to get that if you need to bake um so you know definitely pick that up while you can cowboy salsa i love salsa so i just wanted to make sure you know i had enough of those and rice my family we pretty much eat rice almost every day so I definitely want to make sure I had rice. Again, only pick up stuff that your family is going to eat. I mean, you know, as you can see, this pantry is getting full. And it would make no sense if I had it filled with stuff that we don't even eat. So just make sure you pick up your family's favorite stuff. I have some maple syrup back there. I love maple syrup. Some powdered sugar for baking. Yeah, we have some kitty litter. Some Lysol spray, I want to make sure I have enough of that. Some Dawn soap, some bleach, more soap back there. Um, dishwashing soap, oil, cooking oil, apple cider vinegar. You can flavor different things with apple cider vinegar. More teas. I love tea. Again, my family drinks a lot of tea, especially in the winter time. But it's also healthy um, for in your immune system, and you know it's also you know just to fight off whatever can come our way. But you know they say that drinking hot liquid helps to prevent you know viruses from affecting us. So get some of this, and of course I need coffee. Our favorite blend is the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Um, my husband is addicted to Dunkin' Donuts and I definitely need this in my house if we can't get to Dunkin', so just wanna make sure I have that. Okay, here's my princess girl. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she looks so cute next to this pumpkin here. She's loving this breeze that's coming in. Okay, everyone, so this is what it looks like so far. Um, you know, I I encourage everyone just to get as much as you can. Um, get things that, you know, again, that your family likes. Um, and stock up because, you know, I'm here. I'm not trying to, hear it to scare anyone, but, you know, just these times are getting really bad. So you just want to make sure you have everything in case again. We need to stay home. So be safe, everyone. And God bless. Take care.